Beyond Paradise, you know what I mean? Oh, no. Sliding baseball kick. One man crew egging on. I know, he's still there. got, he's in that reverse chin lock and he's still trash talking. And he paid for it. I, I think I heard uh, one man crew speaking some Japanese. Apparently he has picked up the language. Well, he has wrestled in Japan. He's picked up the language. He has also picked up uh, a very painful situation here. Mario Veggie with the side headlock there. One man crew trying desperately to get some kind of offense going on here. There he goes. Not too bad for a big man got up there. Rocking by the one man crew. And the crowd getting behind the one man crew here. They're adopting him Kamaina. Close line for Yo Veggie. Close line for Buki. Now one man crew finally getting some momentum here, setting up Buki, and oh, unfortunately, he forgot about Yomeji. You always gotta have eyes on the back of your head. Teaming up again. Double suplex there. There's the pin attempt and two count there for Buki. And Yomeji, Back to the corner again. Yeah, he pulled out his inhaler there. <laughs> TP. I've never been to Japan. I've never adopted these customs. Nolan, aren't you Asian? <laughs> I, I guess, but uh, I don't think what that has to do with anything. As a sidekick there by Buki. Another two count there. DB, in all your years look, of wrestling, have you seen... Look at, look at that polite Yomeji. He's like, let me have a... Let me do this now. Now that he's used his inhaler, he's refreshed. Oh. Better to back suplex. Just folded up the one-man crew. And he's in trouble now. We still... As you notice, his elimination style. Ah, shades of junkyard dog. Yomeji with a headbutt there. And another headbutt. Two count there for Yumeji. And now Buki joining in on the action. And Yomeji setting up one man crew here. Well, that's a Look at that submission right there. And I don't know what I don't know what Boogie's doing. I see. You want to take another picture? Oh, that, there he is, pulling out the cell phone again. One man crew is the most photographed man here tonight. Un I. It's almost. Resembling a, uh, a handicap match. Handicap match. Pretty much. <laughs> oh, and, oh, impressive. Arthur Pinfin implementing the count in Nihonjin. It's got to be that stash. It somehow makes him so much more educated. Oh, no! Oh. Yemeji! Miscalculated that. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh -oh. The friendship could be over. No gift baskets for any of these men. There is trouble in paradise. And the partnership seems to have dissolved. Now Yomeji and Buki are trading. And a headbutt there oh. for Yomeji. And Buki has seen.
seeing something. It might, might be stars. Look at that evil, devilish grin there by Yamechi. He's trying to figure out what he's going to do that. That might be the hardest hit in that match right now. Oh. And that might be it. Boogie might be out cold. Oh, two count there. Nice side chop there. Oh, the butt kick. Uh-oh, Yomeji trying to set up Boogie. A lot of countering going on. And oh, that is some pure strength dead weight right there. He does squats. He lift, bro. Oh, super kick there by Buki, and that was right on the money. Meanwhile, one man crew has been forgotten apparently, and not wanting to be forgotten. One man crew jumping back in on the action, cursing out Buki there. He's seen red. Uh, choke slam up and down. One man crew off the ropes. Up and over, and big splash! Hook a leg, one, two, three, and that is it! One down. One man crew with a power bomb! One What's he gonna do up the there? A big man going up and... Good God, good... Oh! That's got to be it. One, two, three, it's all over. What an impressive moonsault. Wow, I did not expect to see that. Oh, oh, oh. he is just like his dad. Buki sending the, the crowd running out the front door there.
Hard Knocks Harrington in some rare form here tonight as he is set to take on. He is not in the Christmas spirit. Hard Knocks Harrington set to take on former EZW Heavyweight Champion uh, Kai Mana in a match that has number one contendership implications as these two I'm sure want to get back into that title shot picture and a victory here could get them that one step closer. What could be deemed as Beard versus Mohawk. Hard Knocks Harrington with a more trim signature beard, not as uh, girthy as usual, but still as grouchy as ever. And uh, Hard Knocks on the verge of a wardrobe malfunction. Shades of Chris Kavanaugh. Let's hope not. I don't think that boy has ever seen a beach in his life. Oh! oh. Harrington sending Kaimana out violently. Kaimana. And Harrington going to work here on the outside of the ring. This is. This is a very comfortable place for Hard Knocks Harrington, but for Kaimana, probably not the ideal spot for him to be in. Not at all. And look at that. Oh, and had Hard Knocks took a hard shot to the dome right there on that steel post. Uh, Kaimana grabbing some furniture. This does not bode well for Hard Knocks. And Hard Knocks took that chair right on the chin. Kaimana setting Hard Knocks up and oh, super kick. Right to the side of the head there. Kaimana posing for the crowd. Somebody needs to check if the chair's okay. Kaimana taking a, a sip of water there, and oh! Oh! If you thought Hard Knocks was having a bad Christmas season, it's about to get a lot worse right now. Wow, Kaimana looks to be in great shape. Doing some extra calisthenics there in the ring. Uh oh. Oh, he's refreshing. <laughs> How much can Kaimana drink? And Kaimana posing for a uh, picture there from the fans. I don't know if I condone the wasting of a perfectly good energy drink. I don't think that uh, Hard Knocks anticipating sharing so much bodily fluids with. Kaimana in this match. No, he wasn't his woman crush Wednesday. And there you have it. Now he's taking us to school right now. Hard Knocks still trying to shake the effects of those drinks spit in his eyes. And apparently he's able to see okay now as he is laying on some heavy fists to the dome of Kaimana. As he just mauls Kaimana. Hard Knocks is still upset about being spit in the eye and unfortunately he's complaining to the one man who probably could care less and that is the controversy of referee Richard Hamasaki is beautiful suplex there by Hard Knocks Harrington. Hard Knocks, he's still smarting from that, from the stings in his eyes. He's, he, he looks like he's still having trouble seeing. Apparently it's affecting his hearing as well. Hard Knocks is just having a tough day today. It's, it's a Hard Knocks life. Hard Knocks sending Kaimana out of the ring again. The referee Hamasaki starting the count out. 
Meanwhile, Hard Knocks making his way outside of the ring. Last time these two were outside the ring, it did not bode well for Hard Knocks. And uh-oh. Oh, Hard Knocks sent to the partition wall there. Hard Knocks should learn that maybe the outside of the ring is not the best place for him in this match. And oh, no. Hard Knocks with the... Uh, the assist there by good old HPD. Hawaii's finest, I might add, who is a big AZW fan. But they need to get in the ring now. Kaimana again, a refreshing sip of another beverage. And I don't know, this doesn't look good for Hard Knocks. I, don't I think this is a record for most spit in a match. I'm sure Felipe Ohostra has the, the statistics for that. Good DDT there by Kaimana. And big leg drop there. Kaimana in for the pin, hook of the leg, two and two count there. Back and forth between these two, neither man able to get uh, an advantage long enough. These two have scouted well, each right other. Right now, very it is well. Hard Knocks Harrington in full control of Kaimana. And a two count there for Hard Knocks. Hard Knocks sending Kaimana into the turnbuckle there in the corner. Giving slap to the chest there by Hard Knocks Harrington. <laughs> Big clothesline there by Kaimana. As again, the tide has changed. Now Kaimana in control, setting up. Hard knocks into the corner. Oh, and big boot to the face there by Kaimana. And hard knocks on Dream Street now here in the corner. Mana is in trouble here. Took Kaimana's own momentum and just drilled him with that spear. This could be it. Cover. Very near fall there for Hard Knocks Harrington. Very hard hitting match has taken its effect on both Hard Knocks and Kaimana. Kaimana in for the first. Oh! oh! He just twisted. He might be out cold. He twisted Hard Knocks inside out there. Kaimana going to the top rope. Setting up for the big frog splash. Oh! Hook a leg, one, two, and three, that's it. Kaimana is your winner. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Kaimana.
This is what we've been waiting for. First time ever these men have ever competed in a ring anywhere. And it's happening here tonight. History's being made. We got Mr. Athletic Jeff Cobb chasing history here. Got a chance to become the first man in AZW history to win the AZW title. Not once, not twice, but three times. And not only would he be the AZW heavyweight champion, he'd be a premier heavyweight champion as well as he's the current premier heavyweight title holder. And if that is any not on the line. He Sorry, yeah. Two, he could be a uh, oh. holder of two heavyweight championships at once. Yeah, and if anybody can handle that kind of schedule, it's Jeff Cobb. This guy eats, sleeps, breathes pro wrestling. And he ain't having none of uh, Alecki's antics here. DDB, I've got goosebumps. You can feel the electricity in the arena. Nobody wanted anything to do with that sexy Alecki shirt. Did the girl just sniff it first? She just did the sniff test, DDB. Because you guys see it's still wearable, right? Apparently by the look on her face, it is it's not It's so wearable. Sexy. She's going to put it on. She likes the sexy scent. I, I, I'm not too sure if that's a, a good look for her. <laughs> and uh, anticipation for this match. As soon as it was announced at Fallout, the buzz has just continued to build and build and build. And finally, we're getting witness it here, right here at the Philcom, the AZW's arena. Jeff Cobb, Mr. Athletic, and the sexy Alecki. First time ever. Jeff Cobb, arguably the most popular wrestler to ever come out of AZW. The fans were all excited when they heard he was making his return back to Ooh. AZW. Everyone except Alecki was excited. And I don't think Alecki respects anyone except Alecki. And Alecki definitely not backing down from Jeff Cobb. Jeff Cobb not backing down from Alecki at oh. all. A slap to the face and Alecki ducking out of the ring. And he's admiring his handiwork, if you will. Look at that sexy strut. Jeff Cobb with a smirk on his face, but you know he's seething inside. Jeff Cobb, one of the... You wouldn't like Jeff Cobb when he's angry. Jeff Cobb, one of the, the real good human beings in the world. But if you mess with him, he gets in this streak and you do not want to be in his way. And there's... That's what I'm talking about. And Jeff... Not letting Alecki get out of there. Jeff came here to wrestle, and wrestle is what they will do. He's tired of the Jeff antics. Cobb has taken all that, like you said, sportsmanship, respect, and he's taken it to California, to the mainland, and he's applied it. That's why he's been so successful, and he's making impact on the mainland wrestling scene. You can see Jeff Cobb all over the internet, all over the wrestling magazines. They, his stock is rising. And I don't know if people realize the weekend that this man had. He's wrestled for Lucha Extreme. And then just 24 hours ago, he had a match of the year candidate uh, with Oliver St. John for the premier heavyweight title, 30 minute draw. That's how intense it was between those two men. And here he is taking on a lecky. There's nobody tougher than Jeff Cobb, I think, right now. You'll be hard pressed to find someone with a tougher schedule than Jeff Cobb, but you're also gonna find nobody who's more willing to take on such a schedule. Jeff Cobb was born to compete. He loves this. This is what he lives for. He lives for wrestling. He lives to compete. Oh, yeah. And that is why he is here. Beautiful deep arm drag. Alecki tried one, but Jeff Cobb showing that strength and tenacity held on and just reversed it. Right now, Jeff in control on a lecky. Like I said, he's chasing history here tonight. Oh, and Jeff Cobb. Make a wish. May have broken a lecky's finger right there. Thunder's European uppercut there. Comes to Whoa! Whoa! Did you see the airtime that Alekhan, he almost knocked out the bulbs in the ceiling. Did he land yet? Did he land? 
I didn't see him. I see him. I saw him go up. What? Did he ever land? He might still be up there. Alecki trying to figure out where he is outside of the ring. Alecki trying to help referee Pinpin. Oh, he's opening the, the count, but he's opening the diva rope. Alecki is in no rush to get back in that ring after going sky high. Jeff Cobb, he's always uh, shown us that feats of strength here in AZW in all his years. He's showing that same strength here in the mainland as well. He just keeps getting bigger, better, and stronger each time out. We have definitely been privileged to witness the growth and the strides that Jeff Cobb has made here in the AZW ring. And to see him come back and continue to show such amazing... Let's not, let's not get it twisted. He came up to the AZW training school, made his debut in AZW, and he knows that, and that's why he always comes back. And when this opportunity presented itself, he stepped up to the challenge. And he didn't even hesitate to accept the match. Oh! Alecki sent flying for the second time this evening. Crashing down on the outside of the ring here. And Alecki has probably spent more time outside of the ring than inside. If we were scoring by points, Alecki is down by a landslide right now. And the heavyweight champion trying to figure out what he needs to do to turn the tides of this match around. So far, unable to solve this puzzle. And yeah, maybe this is the oh. only he needed. Played a little possum. Jeff Cobb got a little antsy and couldn't wait any longer. He tried to get out of the ring to try and bring Alecki back in, and that was the opening that Alecki needed. Oh, oh Alecki sending Jeff Cobb into the steel post there. And did you see Jeff Cobb's back of his head? Not only the impact of his head on the post, but the impact on the back of his head on the on the floor there. Yeah, he went jaw to steel, back of the head to the ground. <laughs> Referee Pinpin up to a four count here. Alecki using the ACW ring as a weapon against Jeff Cobb. And Alecki sending Jeff Cobb back into the ring here, which is a smart move. He can't win the title. You can't, you can't defend it on the outside. You have to win it in the ring. Oh, Alecki took a little too long to get back in. Giving Jeff Cobb the opening he needed. And uh -oh, this is not looking good for the AZW champion. Yeah, you give Jeff any moment, he'll take advantage of it. And my God, look at this. Look, my one hand. All that blood rushing to the head of Alecki. And Jeff Cobb turning Alecki down. My God. Two count there. That was the first pin attempt in this matchup. So you can tell that Jeff Cobb is sensing he's uh, wearing Alecki down right now. Now he's just grinding him out. First chin lock there being applied by Challenger. And nice reversal there by the champion. Oh! Big close line there by Alecki. Now we're seeing Alecki going for the first cover. And a pretty solid pin attempt there, but only able to get a one count there. It's, it's going to take a whole lot more to keep a caliber of wrestler like Jeff Cobb down. Oh, Lecky going for this fisherman suplex. Oh, twisting fisherman suplex into a small package. Hook to it. That was close. And Alecky. Alecky's trying some strength too. That's why he's the champ. <laughs> Jeff Cobb. So used to being. The AZW Heavyweight Champion, he has held that title before. Now, as a challenger, 
hoping to make history here. Alecki sending Jeff Cobb in the rope. And the momentum of that sending Jeff Cobb over to the ropes. Alecki wisely rolling Jeff back to the center of the ring there. And you got to wonder if that wear and tear, like I mentioned, from the fact that Jeff Cobb has been competing all weekend long here, and along with the travel, if that's going to play a role in this matchup. Take nothing away from Olecki, even with a full schedule or not. There's a reason why he's the AZW heavyweight champion. There's an example right there. Nice suplex there. Pin attempted. Two count there. coming from a long lineage of pro wrestling royalty. Alecki sending Jeff Cobb up into the corner. Up and over is Cobb. Cobb with the roll up. It is at one, two, and two count there. The challenger, boot to the midsection.